Hey, Daryl here. Now recently I've been asked by a lot of my subscribers on how I properly tag my YouTube videos for my channel. Well, I decided to make this video to give you all the ins and outs on tagging to help your YouTube videos get noticed. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you four tags that I always use in my videos. Plus at the end of the video, I will explain when YouTube doesn't really care what tags you use to rank your videos in search. This is really interesting guys. Let's take a look. DarylEves.com. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in and get to those tags. Now there's two ways to do this. The first way is to come up to this arrow here, mouse down to video manager. Once we do this, we can go ahead and edit an existing video. All we gotta do is click edit and it's gonna look exactly like the upload. So for this example, since we always upload video, let's go ahead and hit the upload button. Now, um, I have this little dummy video here, um, little example video, okay. But let's say this video is about the Google Penguin 2.1 update, okay. A lot of interest in that, especially with those people that uh, actually work in uh, internet marketing or online marketing. Now, the first thing is we'd actually go and optimize the video and go through all that. But for this video, let's, we're gonna just focus in on the tags. Let me get rid of my default tags here, okay. Now the first type of tag I always do is what I call the specific tag. Specific tags are basically one word. Okay, so for this example, since it's about the uh, Penguin update, we're gonna go ahead and type in Google. Google would be a specific uh, keyword. Now notice, they're, they're basically helping me out. So YouTube's helping me out, it says, hey, do you mean Google the organization? Well, yes I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that because a lot of people put that in. Um, but let's go ahead and put Google there as well. Okay, now the second type of tag I always do is what they call compound tags. What a compound tag is, is several words in a tag. So the first compound tag I always do would be the title. Okay, my title would be the Google Penguin um, 2.1 update. We'll just say that that's that. All I would do is just copy the title and put it in here. Okay, that's a compound tag. So it has several words in there. Now, keep in mind, um, if you are doing a compound tag, that is in the title. Um, yeah, go ahead and put your conjunctions and prepositions that's there. Um, if you're just doing compound uh, tags uh, just in the tag section, just leave them out. Okay, the ofs, ifs, and ends, don't even worry about that. YouTube doesn't even look at it, okay? Um, let's go ahead and go on to the third type of tag, generic tags. Okay, a generic tag is like how to, okay? And um, that's a generic tag. Also, tutorial um, would be a generic tag. Um, vlog, okay. Um, and if you notice down here, YouTube is giving us suggestions. Say, hey, video blog. Okay, so let's go ahead and click that. Oh, marketing. Here are some generic tags that we're able to do. Has nothing to do with Club, Club Penguin. This is a search engine uh, update. So why don't we put search engine in there? There's another compound tag that would be more generic, okay? So search engine, uh, search engine optimization. Okay, so you have all these different things. Now the fourth type of tag I always do is misspelling, okay? Make sure you misspell a few words, see what's most frequently uh, misspelled, and you will notice that your video will show up because it's in the tags. Now I wanna reiterate something. You need to remember that in this tag section right here, you can only do 500 characters. Now it sounds like a lot, but when you start doing some of those compound tags, it fills right up. So you wanna be able to select the exact tags that you're looking for. Now I wanna caution you not to mislead your tags or titles in your YouTube videos because this really affects the performance of your video ranking. Why you might ask? Well, a user might stumble upon your video from a mislead tag or title and they won't stay. They won't engage on this video. And this really accumulates a negative effect on your video and even your channel. Now what happens is that YouTube uses the meta information on your video to do a quick assessment or evaluation. 
once it collects enough data of its own, um, i.e. watch time and user engagement, then it disregards all the meta information and just uses the information that is collected. Now think about that. You really want to be careful. Now I told my two youngest sons that I was making this video on tags today, so I think I need to keep up with my father's promise. Ha, 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 ha.